For this problem, we want to solve for x in the following equation. First, we want to get all the logs onto the same side. So we're going to subtract log base 3 over 2 of x squared minus 3x from both sides to get the log base 3 over 2 of x squared plus 2x minus the log base 3 over 2 of x squared minus 3x equals 2. Now we can use the quotient property to combine the logs. This gets us the log base 3 over 2 of x squared plus 2x over x squared minus 3x equals 2. To remove the log, we can use this next property. For this equation, b equals 3 over 2 and y is equal to 2. So this equation becomes x squared plus 2x over x squared minus 3x equals 3 over 2 squared. The x's on the left side of the equation can be factored out. So we get x times x plus 2 over x times x minus 3 equals 9 over 4. So now the x's cancel out. Now to remove the fraction, we want to multiply both sides by both denominators. So we multiply by 4 times x minus 3. This gets us 4 times x plus 2 equals 9 times x minus 3. We distribute the 4 and the 9 to get 4x plus 8 equals 9x minus 27. To isolate the x, we're going to add 27 and subtract 4x from both sides to get 35 equals 5x. Now we divide both sides by 5 to get x equals 7. If we plug 7 into the original equation, we get positive logs. So x equals 7 is the final answer.